Well, we're about to pop my fucking kayaking cherry. I'm here with Octane. What's up? Who has an unhealthy obsession with Disney. So if you check out his channel. The Daily Octane. The Daily Octane. You'll see a whole lot of cardio. Yes, and a true. whole lot of Disney. And some drone stuff. I got some, yeah, I got some he's drone got drone stuff. shit too. He likes to play with swans. Or is that a duck? Was it was a, a duck? swan. It yeah, a no, it was swan. a swan. Uh, Fucker bit my rudder. So, I have never kayaked before. And we're going to do it in dark just to make it that much harder. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I'm not dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing <laughs> swimming trunks. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I'm still mastering this gimbal. I'm wearing like some old man 1980 show off my fucking knees swimming trunks and the shirt I've been wearing all day which completely isn't made for kayaking but fuck it so I'm gonna bring this my GoPro I'm not gonna bring the karma out there because I have a funny feeling I'm not gonna leave this dry and uh, I'm gonna take my chances with this 360 camera because it's expendable and see what we can get before the goddamn sun goes away. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be launching without sun. So. Yeah, this is probably not the best life choice for us, but yeah. it's an adventure anyway. So, and you know me, lately I'm all about doing shit that doesn't have a lot of planning involved. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how it goes. What's the matter? Oh, you gotta loosen it up. Relax, I'll go. You gonna help me? Yeah, I'll help. I feel special. I look like a goddamn GoPro advertisement. <laughs> As do most YouTubers nowadays. As do most. Yeah, that'll hold me, right? No, zip it off, you fool. <laughs> Alright. See how you could read the cannon? Yeah. So you could read the cannon? That's how you want it. You want to be able to read the cannon. You want your arms at a 90 degree angle. So if you pull this right to your chest, you should create a 90 degree angle with your elbow. Right. So you don't want to be here because you're going to work too hard. You don't want to be out here because you're going to capsize the boat. You want to be at, three, at, at a 90 degree angle with your elbows. 90 degree angle with the elbows and not all the way out to the ends. Correct. Is that it? <laughs> Is there an art or a science to climbing in the motherfucker? Yep. I'm going to explain that to you in a second. So what you want to do is you want to go feet in first and then just kind of like sit into it. But you want to, you want to own it. Don't. If you take your time, you're going to flip it. Own it? Yeah, you want to own it. Get in there like you have a purpose. You probably should have done this without shoes, but that's okay. I'll put your shoes in the, in the uh, van. All right. <laughs> this is yep, feet in and then just pop in there. Own it. Take your time, it's gonna make it worse. I'm stabilizing, go. You sure? Yeah, I got you, go. Yep, go. There you go. Oh, I got you. You're not going anywhere. See the foot pegs? Get your feet on the foot pegs. And then you want your legs underneath. The foot pegs are too far. Sit back then. Am I too fat for this fucking No, put your arm, can you get your legs underneath? This is as far as they go down without, well, on the foot pegs. Yeah, put your put your legs underneath first, and then put your, there, then, then do that, and then put your feet on the foot pegs. Are you on them now? Yeah. Good. You feel comfortable? Yeah, good enough. Okay. So this goes oh. like this. this goes like this. All right. Shit. <laughs> Keep your hands like this all the time. All right. You good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna push you off, okay? All right. Which way? Don't am I push going? with your hand. Just go straight. All right. And just hang out. Get used to it. Get used to the feel. <clears throat> Keep your hands up like this at all times. Like this? Just like that. Even distance from each side. I'll be out in just a minute. Just hang tight. How do I turn? You turn with the paddle by steering one side. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. All right. I feel grotesquely and ill-equipped. Oh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> This ain't too bad. So what are the foot pegs for? The 
The foot pegs are just to stabilize you. Oh, so I don't flip. Yep. Can I pedal backwards? You can. Yeah, it's kind of easy. Hey, you see how I got in there and owned it? Yeah. Well, you've done this before. Yeah, for like two weeks. <laughs> Still, after you pop your cherry, Whew. it's really easy to do it again, you know? Oh, hold on. I'm still going to collect my workout. The question is, will the 360 camera survive? So can this be done with a lesser kayak? Oh, absolutely. How did you figure out what kind of kayak to buy? I asked people to kayak store. Uh, Alright, turn around and head that way. I'll catch up you. Alright. Oh, yeah, don't flip yourself. Position of power. So you always keep your hands out right in front of your body when you're turning. Alright. So reach out a little bit as you turn. And you lean with the kayak. I don't think I'm going to be doing any high speed fucking turns. Alright. Already well, what the fuck? I don't. You gave me a. You gave me a two-second briefing. And now I'm supposed to be a fucking kayaking expert. Oh, sorry. I keep swearing. I'm bad. I got problems. It's like Tourette's or some shit. Oh my god, this is awesome. Isn't it awesome? Yes. I. At first, it looked painful when I was watching your videos of you doing this. I was like, that's gotta suck. Nope. So the secret. I mean, the, the, more, the more complicated way to do it is when you're paddling, you turn your body. So you're actually using, you want to use your abdominals to actually get your Well, I'm not looking to get up to 70 miles an hour here. But the other thing is, too, yeah, how you guys doing? Like this? <laughs> yeah, but not hitting me. No, don't oh, flip yourself. Fuck. Don't flip yourself. The other thing is that you can do is as you're pulling down. You Wait, you got a rudder. Yeah, that's just a steer. Well, oh, I don't have one of those, do it's I? Because it's, I own the kayaks. I get to pick which one I use. So the other thing is. So how the hell do I steer? <laughs> by, by extra paddling on one side. Oh, all right. So if you want to go left, use the right. If you want to go right, use the left. All right. Come up alongside of me so we can talk. Oh, I'm fucking trying. So, yeah, the Gear 360. Not waterproof. First time on a kayak, and it's getting dark. I'm pretty sure I made a bad decision somewhere. <laughs> But I'm just gonna roll with it. Life is just a series of bad decisions for you. Yeah. So I'm beside you. Now what? All right. So I'm not I'm just, looking. I just, to, wanna watch, I just wanna watch what you're doing. Just keep paddling. I'm going. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You're fine. <laughs> you just do what you're doing. You do you. So when you're when you're paddling, the best thing to do to keep yourself from from flipping and getting uncomfortable yeah. is always keep your eye on the horizon. Don't watch the tip of the boat. All right. Because if you watch the tip of the boat, you're gonna you're gonna want to follow the boat. So like I'm riding a bike or something. Yeah. Now the secret is that you're keeping your balance with the pressure of your knees on the side of the boat, okay. and your upper body, the waist up, is gonna move independently of your legs. So as the boat rocks like this, yeah, you're gonna keep your upper body moving with it, almost like you're doing a cha-cha dance. Should I be moving this? This seems like we're moving really quickly. We're, yeah. Oh, yeah. These. Well, these are. That's. So you asked why? Why the expensive boats? Yeah. Because they move quick. These things cut through the water. I mean, we're, we're using minimal effort right now. We're moving at a pretty good clip. If we're in some kind of Dick's boat. So this is like an eight hundred boat. That's about an eight hundred dollar boat. It's about a thousand dollar boat right here. So Dick's boat. The we'd Dick's still boat be back there. Dick's move really slow. So. Lesson to be learned, all you YouTubers, if you're gonna kayak, don't buy dicks. Yeah, don't buy don't buy your kayaks from some chain store. Go to a local kayak shop if you got one and buy local. Always buy local. Unless you like swimming, I think. How are you feeling? I'm I, this is I'm not even breaking a sweat. Good. I'm well, not, we're not really moving either. Feels like we are. Feels like we're going like 20 miles an hour. Uh, I knew you were going to go all fucking Marine Corps on me. It's like you can't re see. I'm already starting to wobble. I got. I can't do that. <laughs> they don't do that. Just stay calm. All right. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because I'm swaying a lot. What are you doing? I don't know. It's like oh, big turtle. Turtle. Am I running him over? I can't even see him. 
the bottom is right there? Yeah, I'm not dead yet. Hey, look at that. Do a new shit. Open your arms up a little bit more. Go a little bit more toward the edges. Like you're too close together, so you're working harder than you have to. Like towards the edge of the rudder, you mean? No, 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 go toward the edge of the paddles. Paddles. Yeah, like yeah there you go, there you go. That's a good spot. Use that. Feel more power now? Yeah. And the other I'm, thing not, is too, so I'm not really digging in because when I dig in... Well, no, look at... Well, that's the thing. So if you're going to dig in, look at... Stop, okay, stop it. I'm going to come up alongside you. I'm going to give you a quick lesson. All right. So this is what you're doing. I don't know about brakes. This is what you're doing like this. See, see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I'm just, You're about halfway in the water. Just touching so it. So if you want to go higher in, you bring your other paddle up and then you push forward... You push like forward as you're pulling back. And that's going to give you, see, feel the difference? So your top hand is pushing forward, your bottom hand is pulling. Yeah, I don't want to do that too Almost much. like your stern batter. Yeah, you just took off though. You're moving a lot faster now. Feel the difference? You just got to feel your balance. You're brand new to this. It's like riding a bike. There's, it takes balance. <laughs> the difference is, is you don't fucking drown on a bike. Yeah, but you got a, you got a life preserver on. You're not going to drown. You're just going to flop. You're going to flop a lot. Plus, there's like turds and shit in this. Isn't there? <laughs> this isn't the cleanest water we're in. No, this is a murky ass shit. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get gangrene if we, if we go under. You're gonna probably get bit by a snapping turtle. That's gonna happen. Oh, you've been fucked with by wildlife? Oh, there's more snapping turtles in this water than anything else. I can't believe my camera hasn't overheated. Well, you are in some cool air right now, too. True, but it's shooting 4K. On the truck, it fucking overheats if I breathe on it wrong. All kinds of gains. All kinds. Look at that motherfucker. Two weeks and he's already fucking going 10 miles an hour. You turning? Oh, you're doing tricks and shit. Look at him. <laughs> He's pro and shit. Truth be told, he's only been doing this two weeks, so he could be giving me completely bad advice. <laughs> True story, I could be setting you up for failure. I know. <laughs> hey, I haven't drawn yet. Well, we only live once. Right. Just some of us shorter than others. Yeah. Tell me this shit ain't gorgeous. Oh, this is very peaceful. This is much better than riding alongside of it, which I've done. Yeah, and that's the thing. So I, I've been paddling a lot on Onondaga Lake, and I did Kitty Alice Lake today. And they're, they're interesting, and they both got their own technical issues, but this is just peaceful. That's what I like down here, and especially this time of night. Most yeah. of my paddles Now, here. when you got current, doesn't it become a bitch? Uh, I was paddling with current today, and it was a hell of a lot of fun to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, do you work harder? Sure. But if you go out into one current, you're coming back with the current. So, ah. so that's fun. I mean, when I was coming back from the village of Skinny Alice back up to the DEC boat launch, I barely had a paddle. I came back in half the time it took me to get out. I don't know why I waited till I was 41 to do this shit. <laughs> I should have been doing this when I was 20. Yeah, you know why? Because all these fun hobbies take money. I had money. Oh, spent it on alcohol. Well, I spent mine on alcohol too, and motorcycles. Well, I only had enough, so I would have had to pick. You know, get drunk or go kayaking, and I think I picked wrong. Yeah, but you know what, though? I, I was 21, so I don't think I, I would have appreciated this like I do now. At 40, this is just so much better. It's true. The things I've been doing lately seem like old fuck things to do. Yeah, and they're fun. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I knew. I don't know why you're so far behind me. Because I, I am not racing. <laughs> Just I knew, go. <laughs> I knew I had reached that point of being more old than young when I started really enjoying the shit on PBS. That was the point that I knew. I think the point I knew is during my recent relationship, I started going places to do things that I otherwise had never done. Oh, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Now, what is it that's causing you to feel uncomfortable? I think I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing, and well, every paddle, once in a while... Well, your control looks ugly. Open your oh. hands up more. You got them too close together. Like there that? Like, as soon as you feel comfortable, you're still too close. 
That's the, that's the secret I learned early on. Ago. So the wider paddle stance. Wider is better. I thought you said that wider would flip me the fuck out. No, it's, the flipping's going to be in how you dig into the water. Oh, all right. And don't paddle really close to the boat either. Keep your paddles out a little way. Like this? Yeah, and you're still not lifting them up high enough. See how I'm going up like this? Well, I'm not digging either. Yeah, well that's the secret. Because like, I'm barely putting any effort in this right now and I'm flying. I need to go over some because water looks like somebody had diarrhea in it. <laughs> yeah, this is not water I would ever want to swim in. So you're saying we're only halfway? We're halfway to the aqueduct. Am I being too slow? You're being a little slow. Oh, fuck. Now I'm fucking paddling like a motherfucker. I'm like the fat kid that's just happy to be on a dodgeball team. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Don't oh flip. shit. Don't. Oh shit. Don't, shit. Don't, <laughs> don't flip. I'm not flipping. I'm trying not to hit you. I'm not. I'm not swimming I, for you. I started gunning and I started gunning your way. Well, I can get out of the way pretty quick. Yeah, but I'm, I have a feeling a collision of these usually doesn't work out for. Yeah, a collision with these, we're both swimming. <laughs> That's why I'm much more comfortable with you on the side. So look at when you're when you're gonna turn. Well, I'm also trying not to splash my camera. When you're turning, you should bring the. Oh, here, let me get up one side. Hold on. Is there a, like a rudder technique for? Well, when you, you could do that, but well, you could turn that way. Look at like you could just. Like, which side do I dip to turn which way? If you want to dip, you're gonna dip to the right to turn right. If you're paddling, so, you're like all that. so just put it, yeah, like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. But that also stops. It also slows you down significantly. Now you can just glide it on the surface like this. Yeah. It won't slow you down as much, but it won't turn you as much either. Ah. Now, when you really get into this shit, you can turn yourself just by leaning in the boat. And Fuck the lean that the boat will part of the water like a snowboard. Okay, the, the dipping, the turn, not working out for me, so fuck that. <laughs> And the 360 cam hasn't fucking shut off yet. Maybe it's worried. <laughs> Maybe it's thinking, hey, I better work right. Or, he or he's going to flip over trying to turn this thing back on. <laughs> That's what I think's going on. It's like Samson's watching this, and they don't want to see it fail. <laughs> so, we're... so they've locked into my phone, and they're, they're making me actually know how to do this with like a 10 second fucking speech Good brother here here's t here's fucking some paddles do this there you go don't die so what is <laughs> what is up what the hell was that like there was a fish or something Fight, turtle. There are, I mean, there's some fish in here but no big ones mostly turtles I still feel like I'm holding the fucking corners wrong Look at the freaking water. The water's like a mirror right now. I know. No wind. That's a good good thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'd be doing as well. With some fucking waves and shit. I definitely when it gets rocked. It's crazy. Oh, you're being all brave and shit. Oh, I, yo, that would be so awesome if you rolled and I did. <laughs> that would be a story to tell. Like there's a moon and shit. <laughs> We're going to be using the light of the moon to get back. That's what I'm talking about, man. So if you're watching a dark video, my bad. <laughs> this is, I recommend this, definitely. If you have $800 to $1,000 to blow, and somebody to hand you the ore and show you how to not die, you should do this. But even if you don't, I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Or watch some fucking YouTubers. That's how I learn, man. YouTubers. That's how they teach you everything. They'll teach you how to shit. They'll teach little, you how uh, to... little plug for something that I'm not affiliated with. Well, Paddle start TV. a channel. It's <laughs> Paddle TV on YouTube. Ah. Paddle TV is off. Awesome. Paddle TV. That's where he learned. And then he apparently learned enough to teach somebody who's probably not very nautical. <laughs> We're good. 
You're a good teacher, though. I only say that because I'm not wet. I might change that opinion, though. Let's see how that to the end of the trip. Now he's going Marine Corps. I knew it was going to happen. He's got no fucking patience. <laughs> it's leaving a wake and shit. Like, I'm going to flip over on his fucking wake. Oh, not steering properly. Is there a waterfall? <laughs> What's that? We're going over a waterfall? No, we're going over a water bridge. A what? Water bridge. What the fuck is a water bridge? An aqueduct. I didn't even know they still had those. Hopefully it's light enough to get back to the video though. That's if I don't get caught in these big fucking turds here. What the hell is that shit anyway? You'll have to go with me if I decide to get one of these. Right there is an overflow. That's overflow for this thing. So the aqueduct doesn't spill over. What's that? So that's so the aqueduct doesn't spill over? Exactly. Talking about that right there. So if you come over here along the side, you can collect it. Alright. Easier said than done, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, brakes. Oh! No, other brakes. Don't flip yourself. I'm not, I'm just reverse steering. Kinda no, like kinda like the guy that was steering the Titanic, you know how he had to stop and then he couldn't? And then like a lot of motherfuckers died. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Don't don't <laughs> don't flip. I'm not worried about flipping, I was worried about colliding. But you see how we're up, oh. a, we're up at a bridge? I'm on a boat. You're on a boat, I'm on a bridge. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. I just took completely ruined the sereneness of this. It was pretty sweet. But I'm too scared to get closer. <laughs> it is cool. Oh, we're going to be going back by moonlight. Awesome. It's romantic. It is. Yes. Oh. Don't flip. If you flip the water, you're going to flip. You crack the water like it's a woman. I haven't had one of them in a while. This feels like a long time. I bet it does. When my, <laughs> my wife has a period five days for like fucking forever. There you go. We're doing a good job. I'm just like doing this at a nice, relaxing... And you're saying that the dicks won't do this, like what I'm doing right now, and go this fast? No, you be you be crawling with one of those. Because uh, most of those are what they call recreational kayaks. Yeah. They're short and they're wide, and they they cut a lot of water. They're great for like if you're on a white water or if, if you're on a more move, fast moving river. Yeah. They keep you stable. They're stable slow. So they're like training wheels. Yeah, kind of. Well, not, you know, not exactly. I mean, it's the same as saying a BMX is great for riding on trails. You wouldn't want a road bike. Uh, but you're not going to go as fast as a road bike with a, with a BMX, you know. So these are these trade stability for speed. These, yes, you get speed instead of stability. I these are know. these, and they're called touring kayaks because they're meant for going long distance and touring rivers and whatever the case may be. Oh. I think I'm sold on that. I kind of like not having to work hard. Yes. This, I mean, this ain't just, shit. We didn't. We didn't work. Hard <laughs> I was thinking I was going to be sweating by now and shit. I don't know if I could do ten doing? miles of this. But. Good. Look at that shit. Look at my form. <laughs> I got this shit down. <laughs> well, pretty soon, I'll be making kayak videos. There you go. Yeah. And I'm gonna say fuck during every one. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you want to see more shit where I do dumb shit like this? <laughs> <That's the final. laughs> you know, with no planning whatsoever in the dark. Go ahead and like and subscribe or something. And I'll do more of this. Or if you think this sucked, tell me it sucked. And don't forget, subscribe to the Daily Octane. Yeah, go to the Daily Octane because... He's going to start doing shit like this, too. He's already kind of doing it, but I keep telling him he needs to let his personality fly. 
He'll get there, though. <laughs> he had this really awesome experience with the uh, a swan doing this, which I was captivated by. So check out his channel, definitely. Where the fuck are you going? Come back! I can't open that up. I'll be in fucking underwater. I'll be like a submarine. I will go a little faster. See what I can do here. I don't want to go that way. Uh oh! Hi! See, we're not the only people that come out here in the dark. Don't flip over. Is there a way I should be leaning in my chair? Straight up. Straight up. Straight up, now tell me, do you really want to know me forever? No, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I said no, no, no. You're a terrible friend. I was letting my inner power I'm your friend. Up. I don't want to love you forever. In that way. In, not in the Paula Abdul way. There's something cool happening. Is you... Unless you something, daintily, unless daintily something fucked up happens. What are you trying to do? Right minutes, now? I'm trying to get away from you. What are you doing? Motherfucker! All right. Position of power, man. Position of power. Well, I almost powered into it. So position of power is like this. Watch. You reach out and then broad stroke. You keep this hand in front of you. Position of power. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember my first couple days when things would rock and I'd be like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna and die!" And why didn't you film that? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. If you watched that video from the other day, when I was you out looked confident. You looked like you owned the water. When the when the wind kicked up, when that wind kicked up, man, I was scared to shit. I know you were, but you still looked like you were owning it. <laughs> yeah, but I probably already had. I'm pretty miles. sure I looked like a little kid riding a bike for the first time <laughs> when I started out. I wow. probably if still you do. See me, if you could have seen me on day two when I flipped this thing within five minutes. That was that was the best. Ah, uh, and you didn't get it. I was I hadn't even mounted my GoPros. I dropped one of my GoPros at the bottom of the lake. I had to go diving for it. Wow. Yeah, that's where I lost my phone. My phone. I had to replace my phone. Oh, when you flipped? Yeah. That's... Oh yeah, my phone. My phone. And I one thought of you my, had pockets. No, well, my phone and one of my GoPros went down to 20 feet. So I had to drive back home, get my full face mask. I have a full face mask, snorkeling mask. Yeah. I had to go get that. And then drive back. And you remember exactly where you dropped yeah. it. Yeah, and I drive back to Skinny Atlas. I give about five minutes to find it. So that's how hard Skinny Atlas is? Well, Skinny I would, Atlas is clear as shit. Oh, I would water. totally want to do Skinny Atlas. Even today, with no wind, there, there, there was about a foot weight. Uh, or, I mean, uh, um, swells, about one foot swells. Well, that, no, like a power boat could come by and yeah, rock power your world. Yeah, power boats came by. <laughs> so a power boat would come by a mile out in the lake, and five minutes later, you get one foot swells. And that, you know what? And how do you is, deal with that? If, if it was two weeks ago, if it was two weeks ago, I would be terrified. Today, it's, it scared me a couple times, but I got used to it because you just realize that when the weight comes, you move with the weight, yeah. and, and, and it's just it's a learned skill. It's like riding a bike. If you if you're riding a bike and the wind picks up, you don't just fall over. You you maneuver for the wind. I, I feel like the balance is a little natural. Like I'm a little wobbly, but I feel like. I instinctively know which way to lean. Yeah, and, 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 and it gets better as you get more used to it. Like, like, I literally can, I don't, like, if I tried to do that a week ago, I'd be swimming right now. Should I try that? I didn't swim. Yeah, see, you feel it? Look at that, I'm a bad motherfucker. You are, you're really badass. Kayaking in the dark. Oh, kind of dark. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Don't fuck up. Don't we fuck are, up. Don't uh, fuck, don't up. Hit, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. I will protect myself. I know. <laughs> Why? We're halfway what, back. What happened to love you forever? We're halfway back. I don't know why I keep steering towards you. Well, part of it's the natural curve of the water, too. So, uh, so there's like a bend that's going on right now. So you're going to naturally want to, as you look at the horizon, you see it's drifting to the right. You're going to want to paddle to the right. That's part of it. 
Put some balls into it. Oh, my balls are going the wrong way. Stop balls. There we go. Alright. I can't believe the camera's still going. 38 minutes. So I'm digging it from here. What you're saying, you know where that's going? No, you, like eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes. Seriously? Yeah. Every once in a while, I get lucky and get 14 minutes. It's been wow. going 38 minutes. That's awesome. That's weird. It must be. It must like the humid water over the over the river. So I don't even know if you guys can see this right now, but I think I'll take this moment to get all philosophical and shit, and saying that. Doing stuff like this can help you feel better. All the traveling I've done over the past month or so, all the shit I've tried and that I haven't ever done before, or just even just exploring a new place. Like, I can understand if you're from somewhere, you've probably already seen it all, it's boring as shit, but there's things you can explore and do no matter where you are. And that has helped me recover from a very trying time mentally so sometimes you gotta take risks and not give a shit and you'll uh, feel ten times better than any fucking shrink or drug or any of that shit that is unless you flip over in this nasty ass water then you'll probably be like what the fuck did I do that for but other than that I'm really glad that I'm Expanding my horizons. I wish I would have done this earlier in life. The thing is, too, man, the reward is partially because of the risk. So True. Without the risk, you can't get the reward. Yeah. So the risk is falling into some murky ass water and wanting to shoot yourself in the face rather than even trying to get. Yeah, getting you. a mouthful of turd. Yeah. And getting your toe bit by a snapping turtle. But it's also about stepping out of your fucking comfort zone. I think. You know. Yeah. Some people are just, you know, they don't do that. Sometimes you gotta be like, alright, so what if something happens? At least I got there. At least I did it. But you know what happens if you don't? You sit on your ass, you play video games, watch TV. That's what you do. You get old and you're turning to my dad. Yeah. You get your health fails. Everything goes to shit. You feel like shit. You're emotionally feeling like shit. So my advice to anybody suffering from depression or a breakup or any kind of mental problems is to get out there and get you something. Do something. Do something you don't normally do. Like math. Well, I don't know about math. This oh. is my first time being on the dark like this, so this is great. Oh, this is awesome, actually. I want to do this on, like, the 4th of July when everyone's letting fireworks out. Well, I'm going to be out in Auburn. I was going to go out on, on Alaska Lake in the dark. The only problem is there's so many boats out there, I'm worried about somebody hitting me. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, and you get some lights gonna, and shit. Yeah, technically, if you're going to do this, you got to have a light. That's that's on a pole and 360 and all this other shit. So uh, not gonna do that, but it would definitely be cool. Isn't there like laws and ordinances? And yeah, shit? there's certain things you got. Uh, you, you don't need directional lights. Like a boat needs directional lights. Yeah. You don't. You're not required to have those, but you are required. So to you have, can do it at night, but you have to do certain things. You have to have a certain kind of light. Yeah. And they sell them. They're not expensive, like 35 bucks, and they mount right onto the kayak. Well, we're fastly approaching the part I probably am dreading the most. Getting out? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to help you with that. Let me, <laughs> right. let me get out first and I'll help you get out. It's probably good that I see you get out. Well, I can help stabilize your boat too. So start giving me the 20 second briefing. Yeah, you just hop out. Just hop out. You hear that? <laughs> it's easy. It's so easy a caveman could do it. Somebody on the dock? I thought I saw something moving on the dock. At least it's well lit so when I go underwater you'll see it.
What's under that bridge there? That's a uh, overflow river. Uh, it's pushed out of the way. Uh, cool, though. Was it a lock or what? No, it's the Erie Canal. I know, but they had like locks and not here. This stuff was like that. This was in the store where, people, where the, uh, the Erie Canal people would stop and pick up gear and supplies. All right. Now well, I managed to stop. That's good. Don't fall. <laughs> Careful. I don't think it's going to go that smoothly for me. Okay, I didn't master the art. <laughs> Hold on one second, don't go anywhere. Oh, 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 fuck me. Well, I told you not to try it yet. Alright. <sighs> Alright, I'm good. Maybe. <laughs> Still going. 48 minutes. That's gonna be a huge desk to be full. Okay. So, uh. Help! <laughs> All right. So what did so you do? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend like you're climbing up onto a bunk bed. Like this is a bunk bed, and you're standing alongside of it, trying to climb up onto so it. So put my weight on my arms. Yep. And I'm gonna stabilize this. Right. Go ahead, do it. Sure. Yep. Go. Do I gotta own? Oh. Yeah, own it. Um, you're fine. <laughs> what do I do with my feet? You just push out, like you st like you're standing up in it almost. Yeah, not quite that much, but just yeah, climb. There you go. Yeah. Thank yep. You. Yep. You're good. Thank you. Get leverage. Well, that'll work too. Oh. Right. Get your camera first. Yeah, let me get that. <laughs> well, stand up. I get. I'll get it. Stand right. up. Stand up. So you're on my way. Well, let me hold this while you get the camera. Oh, you want me to get the camera? Man, you really got this bitch on there, good. Oh, I didn't fuck around. <laughs> there you go. All right, go. I got the boat. All right. Oh, right in my fucking eye. <laughs> it was not in your eye. Oh, can you get my shoes when you? Oh yeah. Here, hang on here. So, I have survived! I didn't drown. There's your shoes. So, uh, like and subscribe for more of this shit. Maybe I'll do it. Also, put some ideas in the comments of things you think that I should try. I'm sure you guys got some creative ideas. And have a nice fucking day.